Welcome back to Whatever Garage. Today we continue with this mess. So let's get started. Before we get to that, let's finish this. I just ordered a packet of snap rings, an assortment. I have no idea exactly what size I need. I didn't measure it. But I didn't want to risk it. I wanted several sizes to choose from. So, we most definitely have that. Am I even in the picture here? A little better. All right, so here we have why are those in there? <laughs> those are supposed to be in there. I wonder if I did not put them in there. We had best check that. Because those are the uh, gaskets that are supposed to be in there. Well, well, well. So, going back to what we have here, we got the sight windows right here. And they have an O ring already in it. Sight glass goes in, sits there, and then we need an O ring, excuse me, a snap ring that will fit it. Too small. something here. Yeah. Maybe. But you know what I didn't order? Another darn snap ring plier. What a dummy. This one may or may not work. That's pretty scientific, huh? May or may not work. All right, let me find a way to prop this up. Be right back. All right, so as usual, we will just have to figure something out. Try and make this one work. And I doubt it will. So let's put her in place first. Didn't I keep the originals? I could have sworn I did. Set them aside, I thought. Well, apparently I thought wrong. It would be nice to compare them. I need a damn snap ring flyer. This just won't cut it. Just won't cut it. Won't cut it. So let's do the next best thing. Wing it. That is one side down. Both sides are down. Now we just gotta get it depressed enough so that it'll fit in there. And for that, I want a screwdriver which is probably still on the floor with all of that crap. And it's covered in transmission fluid. All right, we'll, got, we'll find us another one. There we go. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. The key here is will it pop out? Does not look like it. Thank you. The problem may be these are thicker. These may not be as thin as the originals. Actually, if you look at it, 
that is in place, I think we're good. I think we're good. Except for me not having a decent place to do this. It's just that it's not flat or on a flat surface where it'll stay in. All right, just like last time. Do it one side at a time. Well, dang. She's going right into place. Okay. Let me go back and double check this one. All right, guys. They are in place. I now feel confident with it. All right, let's get to that. But let me change my clothes real quick because it's going to be another day when you see me next because parts aren't here. I haven't updated the board recently, so I just went and did it. And we'll see exactly how much we get done <laughs> and how long it takes. While we wait for parts, I think I need to start cleaning up. And I want to recover what's in the pan, this pan, into that jug. I've cleaned out that jug. I have a filter in the funnel. Because I want to reuse that. Because I'm tired of wasting my money. So let's start with getting my greasy tools out of the way. Is this gonna go smoothly? Of course not. When does my stuff ever go smoothly? Damn it. So far, the filter looks good. Whoa. All right, we still got a little bit more to dump, but look at the impression of that. That's the filter. It must sit really low in there. I did not realize it sat that low that it made an impression on the bottom of the pan. Huh. Just something I wanted to point out. But what I also wanted to show you is what it looked like from this angle. And I am truly making a mess. Stuff in the bottom. Let's take a look at that. But here, finish watching that. Look at this crap. What is all of this? This pan was cleaned when I had it out the last time. That just looks like, well, that's clutch material. That is hard, whatever that is. That, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know the history of this transmission. It came with the car. 
like I said, I cleaned this pan out before um, I refilled it. So that's weird. Well, you know what? I did not account for all the stuff that I sucked up from here and put back and dumped in here. Now, am I saying all that crap was, all this crap is from out here? No, I'm not. I'm just saying it could have contributed to it. But my filter worked because it picked up some of that crap. And we recovered, I would say, half a gallon. I know ATF's not that expensive, but you know, if you can save a buck or two here and there, why not? And a buck or two, if I remember correctly, are these $30 a gallon? I'll have to double check. It's either 30 or it's 17, one of the two, I can't remember which. The rest of the stuff I think is just too contaminated with all other crap, it's not worth trying to save. So, we are going to dispose of it in an environmentally safe manner. And then take it to the dump for uh, um, recycling. Huh. Not as bad as I thought it would be. Now that I've cleaned it, I'm going to put it back down in the dirt. I don't have any way to dispose of this stuff yet. I gotta find something. Not to mention, I gotta write on this what this is and find a lid. We're going to, well, I finished cleaning up a little bit. I'm going to pop this out and take a look because this is the seal we have to replace. It's not here yet, but it doesn't hurt to look at it ahead of time. Now, I've been calling this the servo because when I read up on it, that's what they called it. But I've also seen it called an actuator or whatever. You guys let me know what you think it's called. I do know that it's under pressure slightly because there's a spring in here that can pop out. Come on. Make me look bad, man. Okay, well, there's no pressure on that. So how do you get something off that has no pressure under it or on it? Work it around. Of course, I'll work it around and it'll come flying off probably. Okay, on a fluke, I got it to pop open. Let me show you what's in here. Transmission fluid. Shocker. Okay, I see the O-O-O-Ring. O-O-O-O-Ring. I was trying to say something else. And the lid is not damaged. Now, can't see in... Okay, don't move that. There's no spring in here. Is there supposed to be a spring in here? Or is it supposed to be under that? All right. Let me get this um, fluid out of here real quick. Be right back. All right, I thought I was a little ingenious. I got these for when I do fiberglass. So what the hell, I figured it'd work for this. You know, I am tired of making a mess. All right, I'm gonna ask a stupid question. Because there's nothing in here. I mean, that looks like it's got a hole that would hold that spring. Because this is the spring they sent me. And that sure as shit looks like it goes right there, doesn't it? But, what is this object? Because it comes out. Am I about to frack something up? Huh. 
there's the o-ring and it doesn't really look bad bad it's got a nick in it and it's a little flat on one side what is in here be careful I can tell you this it's not a spring oh great it's got an o-ring too but I don't have a replacement for it. Well, it just decided to pump a bunch of crap. All right, we are going to do some research. We'll find out exactly what's supposed to be in there. Be right back. I found it. It is supposed to have a spring in it. Just like I said, spring is supposed to go, get off of it. How did you do that? No, spring is supposed to go right there. This one didn't have one. Um, and this is called the accumulator, accumulator. Remove the accumulator spring, the spring occasionally breaks and requires replacement. Okay, we can do that. Yeah, this is called accumulator removal. I was calling it a servo, which is actually, I believe, inside. Well, regardless. Oh, it's called the servo assembly. Servo assembly removal. Okay, and then this is actually inside of it. All right, so we know what we're doing now. We need to replace this and put that back in. Is that as far down as that'll go? Okay, because I do know they said that to get this back in and get the spring on, it's sort of like a little difficult. All right, so we're at a stopping point. Like I said, it is not here yet. I had to reorder it since I cut it, and hopefully it'll be here tomorrow, I think is what they told me. Or at least they could get it to me. All right, moving on. All right, let me get down here so you guys can see me. Ugh. Remember how I told you guys that on our, the seal that I ordered, I cut it when it first arrived by accident? Well, I messaged the people immediately and asked them if I could purchase just a seal and told them what I did. Um, I didn't hear from them for a little bit, so I went ahead and just ordered a whole new set. Another spring, another seal. And then I heard from them, I got an email, and they said um, that they would send me one as soon as possible. I told you that. Well, I thought they were referring to the one I'd already ordered. Well, this was on Friday. Today's Monday. And they just sent me one, but they never charged me for it. So talk about some good people. So let's give them some love. This is the wild world of imports. And like I said, they have everything you could possibly want for a uh, Chevy Turbo 350 transmission. All right, good people. Now, my other stuff won't be here till tomorrow, but I don't need it. It'll just be spares. You know, I only paid 15, 10, 15 bucks for it. So it's not that bad. So now we can put this back in, but you figure with all the ATF I spilled, I'd have a little I could use here. Here, why don't we do this? Hey, there you go. There's just a little there in the accumulator. Accumulator, it's like sitting on that. Accumulator. All right. She actually went in there quite well. There's a little lip for her to sit on. Or like it's actually got, well, uh, we won't get into that, Never mind. Not gonna touch that conversation. Okay, now, the key here is being able to depress this down. Holy crap. Being able to depress this down and put this on. I wonder if we can do it 
like from the side. And what I mean is, probably not. I have an idea. Okay, I have an idea here. We're gonna start it. But, I need this in my hand. This is gonna go in there. I'm gonna do this first, okay? I'm going to use the end of this, and then I'm gonna put my belly to work. And it's gonna press down while I try to push this in. It worked a minute ago, I just tried it off camera. And who is that sneaking up behind me? <clears throat> Look at that folks, it worked. You can thank Bad Chad for that, I learned that one from him. Well, here's how it happened. Remember I told you I ordered a um, oil pan seal for the transmission and it was on its way. Well, then it wasn't, but then it is again, but it hasn't gotten here yet and it's taken too damn long. So I ran down to the box store today and bought this one, you know, obviously for more money, but they had it. And now we're gonna slap it on here and get this thing ready to put back together because this is taking far too long. And I'm gonna explain why in a minute. But let's put this on first. And the saga continues. Nice looking, um, nice looking uh, gasket. It's got metal inside. And then you put it up here and it doesn't fit. Aw, oh, come on. Seriously? Damn, this is aggravating. Oh, we're back. Wow. Whatever that was ain't the paint off of here. Interesting. Okay, irrelevant. Um, this episode's gonna end early. It's been, I've run out of time. Completely run out of time, and I'll tell you why. But, um, it's, it's like I can't get the parts I need. I mean, I don't know what the hell the problem is. It's aggravating. Um, I don't know if it's in this video or if it was in the last video, but do you remember when I lifted up the transmission and I said, that's how you lift with your back? I threw my back out. That happened Monday. So then it would have to be in this video. I don't remember. Anyway, threw my back out. I've been on the couch for four days now, trying to recover. Today's the first day I've been walking upright. Um, I wasn't going to do much, I was just going to slap the gasket on there and say, Done! We'll put it together next week. Well, we're not done. So, we're still going to end up having to put it together next week. Uh, I'm going to have to take the weekend off. Uh, I still got to let my back recover. But I am going to go to a car show. I'm not entering the car, I'm just going to it. And I'm going to take video, and I'll show you all that in the next video, hopefully, if the weather holds out. So, sorry for the letdown. You got to see a little bit of what I'm doing. Uh, hopefully, we'll get this done. Should have been done in a weekend. It's, what, going on week number three? But that's all about these old cars, man. Nothing goes smoothly. Nothing. So, I hope you all have a good weekend. And I will see you next week. I almost forgot. Whatever garage. Out. <laughs>